Hey guys, it's Alex here. Welcome back to Nestle Roughness, and let's just jump in. Starting off, it's about NFL. Not about the preseason, where there's a lot to go about, about on about it. Don't really care for it because it's preseason, it doesn't mean shit. I know shit, Saquon Barkley, Baker Mayfield, Lamar Jackson all have their really good moments, but again, it's the preseason. I could care less about it, it doesn't mean shit. The only thing that matters is Redskins running back or a second round pick. Groots or Drews, and they finally found a starting running back towards ACL. He's out for the season. Unlucky. Moving on, what I want to talk about is today is the Cam Newton and Kelvin Benjamin beef. If you know, like a week ago or a couple days ago, Kelvin Benjamin went on radio or something and talked shit about Cam Newton, saying he was a bad teammate, whatever, whatever. He was talking shit about him. So, how Cam Newton responds, he doesn't really do anything much, doesn't go on Twitter, doesn't do shit. He goes up man to man. During, like during joint practices or some shit. And well, I'll let you see the rest and have your own opinion about it. I gotta say, Calvin Benjamin did a pretty bitch move right there. Cam Newton did that, took the high ground, didn't just went up to him like a man, try to talk it out. Like, you don't just talk shit to someone publicly and, not resp uh, and you not risk, ah, get, get a response back. I mean, shit. Calvin Benjamin, you put a bitch, that's a bitch card right there. Cam Newton took that, did that perfectly, had the whole thing, he made sure it looked good on his end. Calvin, you look like a bitch, have fun saying in Buffalo, you dumb fuck. I'm, like, I'm just saying that. Don't respect it at all. That was a bad move. Look, I'm just a 5A white Jew guy. If it was one of them going up to me talking shit, I don't, I don't know what to do. If one of them try to ask for a fade, I'll get my ass kicked. But then again, I'm not going to go on that fucking a radio show and talk mad shit about the person and not expect them to come clap back. So let me know what you guys think about that. Moving on, this is more about some YouTube news because you know what? We should talk about more about YouTube and sports together because that's where the views are at. And which, when you bring up the name Logan Paul or Jake Paul, that's where the views are, so I gotta bring them up. And this is not about their fight August 25th. I will cover that when it comes. This is about what they made comments about at the airport with TMZ Sports. I'm just gonna so show the clips now. Hey, hey, main fighter, hey it's Dana White. Dana White, you're watching this, bro? Pick a fighter for me, dude. Pick a fighter for me next or late next year. Call someone out. Come on, man. No, no. Logan, call someone out. Who would you want to fight in the UFC? CM Punk. <laughs> Say that, I guess. I want to. I don't, like. I think it'd be dope to see one of us fight McGregor. That's what I was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me just go through it. Jake Paul says a shit about fighting Conor McGregor. That's just a joke. That's just being sarcastic. However, them actually fighting UFC. UFC. That could be a champ possibility. As much, and look, I'll, I'll give my opinion later, but look, this is something UFC would do. Dana White would definitely use them because they have a massive audience and they'll get people to pay. That's a money grab, cash grab. It wouldn't be that bad of an idea. Also, just think about this. who They would get their ass kicked by any UFC fighter. Maybe other than CM Punk, who Logan Paul challenged, which is smart by him. The odds are a majority of UFC fighters would kill them, or all of them. Because they are different animals. These people have never done UFC. So I would pay money to watch them get their ass kicked. I mean, Dana White, I know you're not watching this, but if you ever were, please let them fight. It would be so funny. I would love to see what they do after August 25th. But, not gonna lie, who wouldn't want to see Logan Paul get their ass kicked? I mean, UFC's fighters have volunteered to fight them. I mean, you're gonna make a lot of money doing that fight. But fuck, I would love to see someone whoop his ass. Like, I don't care if it sounds like a joke or it looks stupid on UFC's end. 
I think the whole world would love to see Logan Paul get his ass kicked in UFC wise after he gets his ass kicked August 25th. That's all I'm saying. Let me know what you guys think below. Hope you guys had a good day. Please like and subscribe. Share this video with some friends. Hope you guys enjoy and peace.